Okay, so I just got a new laptop on Black Friday. I just got it set up, the recording. I, hopefully this is all set now. It took a while, so I did a lot of stuff uh, off camera. Uh, I got my range up from 15 to 29, which is almost 30. A couple major levels, a couple prayer levels, some HP. Did some more agility, so now I can do the Varrock rooftop courses, which is great. Uh, what else did I do here? Obviously just thieving, so I can get some more money, so we could buy rune. And I've done a bunch of Hunter and Slayer. Trying to get 30 Slayer so I can get Fire Fiends. And I think that's the majority. The biggest unlock that we just got off camera right before I set up the video. Look at this. We just got an Amulet of Power T from an Easy Clue Scroll. That was our fourth one. And we got Black Plate Legs. Look at that comparison right there. Amulet Accuracy. Only attack bonuses plus four down the board. The Amulet of Power is a plus one prayer, plus six strength bonus, and then plus six is down the board for attack and defense. So that's our new best in slot amulet. That's fucking huge. And then we also got Black Plate Legs. And we just got another casket, so we'll open that live. Okay, nothing. What, what did I, what's a collection log slot? Iron Full Helm T. What's up with the trim stuff, my boy? All right, whatever. So we've been doing the ham hideout chest pretty hard since I got the new laptop here. I've already done a ton of them, like 50 or so, 60, I don't know. So we got 111k cash. So we're going to do this a little bit longer until we have our cash stack up. All right, so the cash stack is actually looking pretty decent right now. We're going to go ahead and sell the rest of this stuff in the inventory. Let's see what that gets us up to. Almost 120. And we're going to go for an upgrade again, boys. Two upgrades. We're going to go for the rune chain and the rune legs. I kind of like this look, though, the all blacked out look. It looks pretty cool, but I think it's time to retire it and get some rune. Here we are at the Champions Guild. Let's go ahead. Rune Legs, 64k. Rune Chain, 50k. So that's 114k. Let's do it. Rune Chain. Ooh, cash deck gone. But these are two huge upgrades that we did need. So look at that. The defense bonuses get a huge boost. And we look, look at that. Looking like a Chad. Then we have another side project going on right now, which is to get 30 Slayers so that we can get and kill fire fiends they drop steel boots which is a significant upgrade from the fighter boots that i have right now and there it is 29 slayer one more level so we can get the fire fiends all right nice boys just got another easy clue let's crack it open got that from the goblins let's see it okay magic amulet could have used that black play body a long time ago though black axe again will a short bow nothing great all right, that sucks. This is going to be on hold for a little bit. We got 46 crawling hands. Can't do that task. 127 XP away. We're going to have to genie lamp it. Guys, we freaking did it. Antique lamp. Slayer. 500 Slayer XP. 30 Slayer. We can now kill Pyrophines so we can get the steel boots now. So let me show you what I do here for this since we're killing pyrofiends right now. So we go down here, the big fishing net, we catch the raw cods and the mackerels, we run right up back up here. Right here there's a little fire spot, there's actually a lot of fire spots, and you just cook your fish on it. So like I was saying, you come over here, there's a little fire spot, all these little fire spots you can actually cook on. So I take my full inventory of fish, come up here, cook them. Socks, cods only heal seven, mackerels heal six. And there we are with another defense level. Oh, and a combat level too, 65. Getting pretty close to that 1 in 128 drop. Another two trips, I would say. And we'll be at the drop rate. This is for the 128th kill. Do we get the steel boots? Nope. Really starting to think we're not going to get these steel boots. But we are getting a lot of chaos runes, which is going to help with the mage grind. So we're up to 96 right now. Oh my god, I just got a freaking nature talisman, guys. What the hell? That's like a one in a thousand, one in two thousand chance of a drop. Come on, give me the steel boots. What is this game? What is this freaking luck? Oh my god, finally we got it. And a clue scroll. Steel boots, steel boots. We got an upgrade. Steel boots. Finally. How many kills was that in? 
158 kills. We got three medium clues. Finally got the steel boots. Let's get out of here. Okay, and since we're already on the island, I'm going to do a little bit more hunter. This also, this will help with the uh, the imp grind in Piro Piro when I get to that. And just catching the implings around my region. And also the long-term end game goal of this account, which is to hopefully get 99 hunter. There's 24 hunter. 25 hunter. 26 hunter. 27 hunter. 28 hunter. And 29 hunter. 30 hunter. 35 hunter. And that makes it our last bird, 40 hunter. We can now put three traps, which is pretty clutch. So let's see it. One. This is two. And that's three. So this will make the grind to go by a lot faster. But for now, we're going to pause on this. Grew almost two prayer levels from these guys, too. Let's see. We're getting about 10 to 12k XP an hour. Not not great. Not terrible. Here in that ground, we actually got a genie lamp. Just drop these real quick. We got a genie lamp, and I was debating whether to use that on construction or herb lore. And I think, I think I'm going to go herb lore for this one. So it's 200 XP, just because it's a pain to do herb lore on this account. It's also a pain to do construction, but I do want to make prayer pots at some point. So I want to get that up as fast as possible. Okay, so in an early episode, I was killing these guys, the uh, Sur Hogs, however you pronounce that. Um, they actually have a chance of dropping a Addy Square, sh uh, Addy Kite Shield. So that's another upgrade I want to go for right now. I guess this is just an episode of upgrades. Plus, what's great too, I guess, is they drop Chaos Runes. So I'll stack a little bit more of those and some more Big Bones. Wow, look at that. We got our first curved bone. Oh my god, I can't even use it yet. I think that's 5k construction XP. And with these last two bones here, that gets us to 34 prayer, nine levels away from prey melee. What is this luck we're having today? Tooth half key, can't even use it. Oh, would you look at that, boys? We got it. Pretty, pretty quickly into the grind. That I would have to be here longer because it's a 1 in 110 drop rate. So there were plus 20s and 30s, and this was plus teens. So that's double. Double the defense bonus. And we just look better, too. Always about the looks, too. Black. Green. Okay, so I think priority right now would be to get 30 construction. So we're going to do a little bit of inventory cleanout. We're going to blast through all these chaos and mind runes and grow mage levels hopefully 45 mage 10 more levels till we get high elk okay i know i said i wanted to clear out the inventory but i just want to get 50 defense as well so that i can start growing strength again i think 50 is a good stopping point for that right now great so we cleared up the inventory of all the herbs i think i'm gonna go and throw this stuff into the looting bag craft that Probably drop the wizard hat now that I know I can buy a blue one from the fancy clothing store in Varrock. And then we'll get a hammer and a saw and nails and we'll start plank, cl plank collecting so we can get up to 30 construction. I really just don't want to drop this or bury it because if you bury it, it's only 15 XP. I'd rather use the XP on it. It's 6k construction XP, so that's pretty significant for this guy. This is going to take much longer than I anticipated. How much was that? A little bit of an inventory, 348 XP for 12 planks. So I'm not going to sit here and lie. This method kind of does suck. So we're going to take this out. And this actually helps significantly. This is going to be a huge boost because this is going to give me 2000 XP genie lamp. It's got 20. So you need 20 level 20 skill to put a lamp on it. So construction. Boom, 2K, that gets us to 23. That just boosts us three levels like that. Because the way I'm doing these trips right now is I need 321 planks. I did the math over here on the right. I need to collect 321 planks. I can only carry 12 for inventory. So that would have been 27 inventories roughly. And this just cut it down by two inventories. I'm sure you guys like to see big brain moves here. So ready for this. So oak planks, since I have... 
23 construction, I can build two more items on the museum camp on Fossil Island. That'll get us to 24. And then I'll be able to build another item. And that makes the grind that much easier. Okay, so if we come over here to the bank chest, this will give us 250 XP. Head over to the well, that will give us 500 XP. They give us the 24. Then at 24, we can come over here and build the fire pit. And that gets us to 25. Five more levels till we can finally use this curved bone. That's 27 construction. And the great thing about this is, does it say it here? Uh, stash units, yes. So I can now build easy stash units and that's uh, 150 XP per plank, which is really good because I'm getting like 20, almost 30, I'm getting about 30 XP per plank. So it's going to be 75 XP per plank. Sorry. So it's two planks and 10 nails for 150 XP each. And I can build in my region 13 of them. So it's going to get me close to 2K XP. Okay. And here's our first of 13 stash units. See, two planks gets me 150 XP. So it's 75 XP per plank, which is way better. There's another one. Inside the rune shop is another one. This is also great because this acts as like mini banks, even though most of the items I'm going to be storing in these um, stash units aren't, aren't that great for my account right now. Or will ever be. And there's two here at the Varric Castle. The bush outside here. And then in the library. In the corner. And the last one I have for my inventory. And I have seven more. And I'll just run around and go bang out all the rest of them. And there's 28 construction. Alright. And this should be the last one for now. That gets us close. So 393 XP away. Finally, 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 let's build the broken spinning wheel for 1,000 XP. That's 29. And then let's build the half-built loom for 1,000 XP, and that gets us to 30. We can now use the curved bone. Now, if we head over to Lumbridge here, I have not gone into the Goblin City yet. Jump, jump through this crack. Follow our friends to the mines. And just head a little bit south till you get to this door. And there we are. We are in... However the heck you pronounce this place. I just call it the Underground Goblin City of Lumbridge. And now, the great thing is, any long or curved bones at level 30 construction you can bring to this guy over here. And he'll give you some coins and some construction experience. So we talked to Barlock and we're at 30 construction. I bet we'll get to like 33. So he'll give me 2k and some construction XP. Let's see it. 6,700. That gets us to 34. Wow, four levels. See, good thing I, uh, I did all that. Now another great thing here is if we trade Reldica, we get some frog armor. And that's good for range. And it's pretty cheap, so we could just buy it and drop it. But it's good range bonuses. Need uh, 25 defense and 25 range to use it. So that's how we'll grow our range at some point. Okay, so before we get to the Ankus, I just wanted to restack on my Law Runes. They were looking a little bit sad. I haven't had too much luck with them. Only up to 11 right now, but this is going to be the last kill because we're going to get Strength level, we're going to clean up the inventory. I know it's looking a little stressful. There's 52 strength. But every little XP helps with the next grind. So that's why I pick up as much as I can and what I can and turn that into some GP. We're going to try and kill some Ankus. I only have wines. I just want to see what kind of damage they do on me. And they drop the weapon poisons at a rate of 1 in 50. So it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm um, looking for the lower level ones. It looks like they're just all mixed in here. Not that it matters too much, I don't think. But I'm trying to get the 77s rather than the 86s. Just want to see the damage they do on us. We're smoking them. Nice ones and zeros. We're smoking them. Let's get it. Okay, we're actually not doing too bad. I thought we'd be taking way more damage. Okay, first kill. Weapon poison. Nope. Okay, so if I am to kill these guys, I had to set up a little bit of a food method here. So we're going to Isle of Souls, big fishing net, 
catch some cod, catch some mackerels. It's right north of the stronghold security. So just run in there, fish, run back, kill them. We're up to, we've killed 15 of them so far. Okay, this is it. This is KC-50. Let's see if we got it or not. One more truth. Nothing. Okay. Now we're over drop rate. Also, I found the lower level guys. 75, so that's the lowest. 60 HP. These guys are much easier and faster to kill. Not sure what's going on with the luck of this account, but we just got an emerald and a ruby back to back. And those are both like 1 in 400 for the emerald and 1 in 800 for the ruby. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fuck, finally. Let's get out of here. We just got it. How many KC was that? 79. If we add the weapon poison, dragon dagger. Plus, it's finally poisoned. This has a 25% chance of poisoning when it deals damage. So let me do a little test here. All right, well, he's probably, yep, see, four damage. This is awesome. Skull left half, I already got that one. 